Asha Hastings, ladies, welcome to Sport on Prime. Let's start with you, Michelle. Give us the lowdown on this program and why you got involved, and also um, your program, Track Girls, why they took uh, center stage. Sure. So, Track Girls was started about two and a half years ago to help us promote women and girls in the sport on a consistent basis. And so, we wanted to provide a platform where we could tell their stories and where we can add more visibility to the sport. So we do that in three ways. One, with our leadership camps for girls, and we just give them an intimate setting to interact with sport-specific role models. And we spend a day of doing track and field activities and also doing empowerment workshops, discussing things such as confidence, and um, how the sport can open doors to higher education and cultural and community experiences. And we just have fun. And other ways include fitness events so we can provide track and field inspired workouts to insert into your everyday general fitness routines. And last, we have apparel because track girls are really strong in self-expression and we want to share the track girl style. Right, well, um, you've and already so we're been... here this weekend to do our... I'm sorry, you continue, you continue. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> I said, so we're here this weekend and we're going to do our camp in Cape Town. We did a camp in Johannesburg last Saturday. And so Natasha and I will be working with girls and boys tomorrow to do our empowerment camp with a few kids coming in from the township. So we're excited to be here for that. And you had a camp already in Johannesburg uh, over the last weekend. How did that go? Oh, it was amazing. We had kids come in. We danced. We sang songs. But, we, of course, we did some track and field-inspired workouts. And we had speakers come in to talk about their experiences and the community and local role models, local Olympians come in. So it was a good experience. I'm going to bring Natasha in now. Natasha, you also came on board through your own program. Tell us about that and why it also inspired you to get involved in this. Yes, yeah, so I formed the organization Tea Time with Tasha and sort of the inspiration behind that, being a two-time Olympic gold medalist, sometimes people look at us and they think we're superheroes and sort of forgetting that we're actually normal human beings. So myself having, de having dealt with issues like body image, self-love, worthiness, even believing that I'm worthy enough to compete at this level, I wanted to target young women at a young age rather than wait till their 20s like myself when I was finally exposed to sort of those self-empowerment practices. So I was inspired to do something for young children and through my sport and experiences to inspire them as far as what doors can be open and building self-love and character. And through your work here in South Africa, you had the one camp in Johannesburg. What have you found to be the issues that um, girls or women in South Africa are most um, looking towards? I think, um, well, Michelle hosted that one on her own, <laughs> but we'll be uh, working together tomorrow. But um, one of the things that we learned, I think, was sort of that there's this notion that um, it's unfeminine for women to compete in sports. And um, that's sort of the thing that we're here to break that barrier across the board that, you know, we, we want to break that box that athletes, female athletes, um, are placed into that, you know, because we're strong and fit and athletic, that we're not beautiful. And that's totally not the case. We're, as Michelle said, we're very expressive. We have style. We're healthy. And, and that's what our programs are about, healthy, active lifestyles, but also achieving some amazing things in life. And Michelle, okay, so you, you um, host the, the, the camp in Johannesburg. What did you find from um, South Africans? What were they looking towards? What were the issues facing them more pertinent that you might not have expected? Well, I wouldn't say, well, I, you know, it's my first time in Africa alone, you know, nevertheless, South Africa as well. So it was more of a learning experience for myself coming in for my first time. And it was interesting because they were engaging. They were open to hearing from me, but I was open to hearing from them as well. Um, they were inspired to see women 
in, in a strong role to say, you know, I, I, at one point I may not have had everything that I wanted, but at another point I did. And how did I get there? So it's important for the two of us to come here and help them just demonstrate how you can close that gap, how you can see something and you want to achieve something and how you can actually do it. So hopefully while we're here, we can be a role model for them. We can work together. We can work with local organizations, local schools, and um, sh work together and collaborate on how we can provide answers for the youth. Right, well, just let us know. Um, tomorrow, it's uh, the Western Capes Sports School in Kales River from 9 to 3, and a full program expected. Yes, it's tomorrow, and then after the camp tomorrow, we're going to go to the track meet, the West Western Cape champs, and we're going to see if we can look at some local talent there and see if there are ways that we can help out with them as well. So we have a full day tomorrow. We're looking forward to it. And just final word for, uh, from Natasha. Are you looking forward to it as well? First time to um, interact with uh, the South African kids? Absolutely. I mean, I've, I've found that the best way to spread love is through my gifts. So to meet the children tomorrow at our event, I'm certainly excited. And then I'm excited to see some competition tomorrow at the track meet as well. Yes. Well, ladies, thank you very much. We wish you the best of luck with uh, this valuable empowerment program. And thank you so much for being on Sport on Prime.